Hello, Your Honor, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, it looks like cloudy with a good chance of still getting pissed off today or still feeling kind of grumpy. The moon is still in Virgo, so your emotional focus is on the weeds in your soul garden. I find personally when the moon is in my 12th house or in this sector of consciousness, first of all, I'm detached from reality completely. In fact, one of the best things you can do is go exercise, get into your body, get out of that higher space. It's the subconscious space, and literally what's happening right now is you're more, you are more emotionally aware of your past and your your subconscious issues than you are your moment to moment present. So if someone really pisses you off or something really upsets you, you've got to ask yourself, is this a theme in my life? If it is a theme in your life, that's a weed in your life and that's what we're working on right now is to yank those weeds out of your awareness, Libra. Now zipping around to the sun in Aries, Saturn is ruling the day today. It's time to make decisions. Saturn is the decision making vibration, allows us to cut our awareness in two sides. That's an incision in our awareness. That's what a decision is, is an incision in awareness. The topic for you, Libra, is long-term partnerships. That's marriages, that's business partnerships, that's long-term friendships, and that's the way you treat yourself in the long term. So being in chapter two of Sun and Aries, I would imagine you have enough information or courage to make some good decisions about what marriages will be. This may be that time where you finally decided to stay with someone or not stay with someone. This may be the time where you decide you want to have a partnership or you don't want to have a partnership. But either way, you're likely deciding more about what you don't want than what you do want because in chapter three, that's when we really start to build this. Now, I do have some good news in all of this, even though you're pissy. Pluto, over the weekend, moved into retrograde. Now, if you don't know, Pluto is the death and regeneration consciousness in, the aware in, our, in our whole total awareness pie. Pluto basically draws lines. It says, that's it. This ends right here. That's what Pluto says, and it forces us to grow. We have no choice. It puts an absolute line down. Pluto has been in Capricorn since January, and for Librans, Pluto has been forcing Librans to change the way they take care of themselves, your self-nurturing habits. How will you ground yourself, your home habits, your family habits, who you live with, do you not live with someone, all these different variables. And so you might have noticed since January that things in your household or the way you treat yourself are just falling apart. It's as if Hey, I used to stay up every night till 4 a.m., but now when I do, I get sick. Yeah, that's Pluto. Pluto's saying, that's it. you got to take better care of yourself. Pluto gives us an absolute. Well, the good news is Pluto will not be enforcing you to go to bed for about four or five months. Pluto goes direct on September 11th, ironically. So the best thing to remember is this. In the next few months, as Pluto is retrograding and moving back over the space it just was covering, this is an opportunity for you to fully understand those bad habits and why they collapsed beneath you. And if you continue with those bad habits come September 11th, I promise you Pluto is just going to slap you down. It's not fun. So make sure you learn from the last three months when it comes to taking care of yourself. All right, Libra, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you tomorrow. Shout out Wednesday. Live, love, be. So